Good evening, everyone. Do you hear me? Hola, Fabiola. Me escucha. Armando, me escuchan. Hello, Armando, me escucha. Hi, teacher. Hi, me escuchan. Yes. Ay, ya estaba preocupada. Nadie me contesta. Qué va, Fabiola. ¿Cómo me sacó la gotita de suero ahorita? <risa> I have my dinner. Ah, okay. Yeah, you were my having dinner. dinner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Hi. Good Hi. evening. Good evening, Nene. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. It's good to know that you are in class. <laughs> Welcome. Let me see. How are you, How Fabiola? Are you? I'm very fine, teacher. I'm very fine. And you? How I'm are pretty you doing? good. I'm pretty good. Thanks, God. Just waiting for my class for today's class. Yay! <laughs> okay. Uh, when day is finished? Uh, we finish course tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have our last class. And oh, okay. yeah, that basically that's. That's pretty much it. And I want to know, did you already fill in the questionnaires for the second course? Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Very good. Very good, excellent. Good for you. Let me check my other friends in here. Uh, Armando, how are you, Armando? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good, teacher. Very okay. good. Excellent. That's great. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Let me see. Rafael, hello there. How was your day, Rafael? Hello. I'm fine. It was good. Thank you. And you? Well, I'm pretty good, thanks God. But my day was like a little bit rough. <laughs> I felt I had a lot of activities, ups and downs, but it's good that we are in class. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Thank you, Rafael. Very good. Let's see. Jocelyn, how are you, Jocelyn? Hi. Hi, Miss. Hi. How are Hi. you? I am fine, thanks. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> well, I don't see you, but I know that you're in class at least. Let me see. Crisia, how are you, Crisia? How was your day? Hi, good evening. I'm great. Thank you. Uh, 
the day it was a little bit stressful. Uh, yeah. Monday is daily, daily routine. <laughs> yeah, I know. Monday's daily, daily routine. It's like, oh no, <laughs> it's really tired. A lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> horrible. I got you, Sorry. my friend. <laughs> Let's see, who else do we have in here? Elsie de Carvalho, how are you, Elsie? How, how are you? I'm very Elsie. How about you? How are you? Is everything good? Bien. Good. <laughs> you have to say everything's good. <laughs> Let me check. Who else do I have in here? Jessica. How are you, Jessica? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Very good. Excellent. That's the attitude. Very good. <laughs> Great. Good to see you, Jessica. What about Noemi? <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you, Noemi? Everything is okay, thank you. And you? Oh, well, everything is okay also in my life. Thanks for asking. Hey, Noemi, um, I was noticing that your name is without H. I always wrote the H because my auntie's name is with, she, she, her name is Noemi, but it's with H. <laughs> Uh, my name is Noemi. Noemi, ah, oh, okay, excellent, very really good, great. Mm, good to know. <laughs> Thank you, Noemi. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Let's go with Diane. Hi. How are you, Diane? Um, so so. I'm dry. In the afternoon, I went to the hospital for my mother's medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I was just about to ask you about that. How's your mother? Um, I uh, uh, she is not well. She's not well at all. Oh well, Diane, it's good to see you in class, and I'm really sorry again about your mother's um problem. But I hope she gets better for real. Okay, let's pray for it. Thank okay. you, Diane, to be in class. Let's see, Fatima, Karina, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Hey, Fatima, how are you doing with the platform? Have you finished? Yes, teacher. Finished. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, I'm trying to, to see how many of you have finished already the platform. Then we have... Let me see. Karina Jimenez, how are you, Karina? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Yes, I'm ready you look, for the class. Huh? You look <laughs> good. Excellent. Thanks. Um, how was your day, Karina? Hi, I great. Great. Excellent. I have a great day. Excellent. Did you finish the platform already? Yes, I finished. Excellent. Very good. Also, the final sum. Yes. Very good. Yes, Yay, excellent. Thanks. What about Cesar? How are you, Cesar? It's great, Miss. Uh, how are you? Well, I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking, Cesar. I'm excellent. Did you finish the platform already? Uh, thank you, God. Yeah, my Miss. <laughs> it is a classroom uh, platform. Oh, okay, excellent. Yeah, let's today we're going to have a review of the to of the final exam, my dear students, because some of you uh haven't completed yet the exam and I'm gonna help you with it. I mean you are going to help me with it, all right? Because you already you already made it, and that's great. Let me see. I'm going to share my PPT with you. Before into getting into the content of the final exam, I got some 
kind of like a review for you from last class, all right? Tomorrow, we are also going to have more content, not because it's just the last class, but, but also we're going to have more content and also review from all topics, all right? So let me see, I'm going to share with you in here. There you have it. Do you see my PPT? Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you, very good. Yes. yes. Excellent. So we have Monday, August 16. <laughs> Yesterday was payday. <laughs> no, like Friday was payday. <laughs> Let me see. We are in section five, final sum, and class 15. Let's see. My dear students, if you remember this content. Number one. Present continuous is used for, let's see, Fabiola. Yes, teacher. Present continuous is used for? Present continuous mm -hmm. is action and this right now mm -hmm. actions happening right now right now excellent yes pretty good let's see what's the difference between simple present and present continuous let's see rafael simple present sí, is a routine sorry well, hello, Pre simple present you can use for routine and present continue you can use when you um, are continuous in the action. Mm -hmm. Like when you are doing the action right now, right? Right. For example, I'm typing on my computer. That's present continuous. Very good, Rafael. Excellent. Yes, that's right. Let's check. Mention the structure for just no questions in present continuous. Let's see, Noemi. Um, it's better to be the subject plus action or bear plus ing plus complement plus question mark. Excellent, very good. And I like the way that you say that action or verb because it's the same thing. And sometimes we tend to confuse. It's like actions is not the same as verbs and they are the same, of course, as well as in Spanish, as well as in English. All right, excellent. Thank you, Noemi. <laughs> going to try it. I'm gonna try at least that the last day. <laughs> Let me see. So Mauricio, the present continuous is used for? Um, to, to express, to, for the action, for, to express actions for someone. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. You have to do in, 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 in a moment right now. Right now. That's the keyword right now, excellent. Okay, actions that you're doing right now. Um, let's go with Diane. Tell me the difference between simple present and simple and present continuous, please. I don't remember, sorry. You don't remember, okay, don't worry. Let's check, Crisia. <laughs> Wake up, Crisia. <laughs> Let's see, what's the difference between simple present and present continuous? Okay, uh, <laughs> simple present is about a daily routine and present continuous uh, use when we are talking about action that we are doing in this moment. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> Really? Yeah. 
Que donde yo vivo no tiembla. Thank you, Grisha. Okay. Also, thank you. So there you have it. The difference is that we use simple present to talk about habitual actions or habitual routines that we have, right? And then we use present continuous to talk about actions that are happening right now. Okay, thank you very much, my friend. Let's go with Karina Jimenez. Tell me or mention the structure for just no questions. B, the subject, the mm -hmm. uh, verb, ing, the mm -hmm. complement, the question mark. Excellent, very good. All right, everyone, excellent. It's good that you remember. Of course, um, from one friend to another, I will always tell this to you. Practice as much as you can. Try to learn about the content that you have and try to remember structures so that things are going to be easier for you to catch or to prepare, like to make sentences, to create sentences, but also to speak, right? All right, everyone, thank you. Let's move on. Just to remember, we have WH question with present continuous also. Let's see, Pizar, tell me the structure, please. Uh, w H plus B plus subject plus verb A A M G plus complement plus market question. Okay, thank you. Question mark. <laughs> question uh, question mark. Excellent, very really good. Excellent. There you have it. So in here, we learned last class that you can use any WH word, it's going to depend on the context that we are using it or in the context in which we are being developed right now. But in any case, you can use WH words, all right? So here you have it, some examples. Let's see, Fabiola, read question number one, only the question. Okay, what is Anna drinking? Let's see, Jessica. The answer? She is drinking soda. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She is drinking soda. Let's go with number two. Marvin, ask question number two, please. Who are you waiting for? Thank you. Lisette Velasco, welcome to today's class. Please give me the answer for question number two. Hi, teacher. I'm waiting for Eunice. Uh -huh, exactly. I'm waiting for Eunice. So I'm waiting for my sister. I'm waiting for my brother. Because in that question, he's asking you about a person, right? Okay, so there you have it. Thank you so much, everyone. These are some uh, guiding examples that you can take. Let's go with practice time. Let's see, Diane, tell me, Diane. What is waiting? Wait, okay, now, if I tell you, Diane, wait for me, I'll be right back. Wait for me, I'll be right back. What's the action? Huh? Esperar, exactly, waiting, esperar, okay? Wait for me, I'll be right back, all right? Yes, excellent, very good, you're welcome. And now let's go, let's move on. So we have the practice time. This is pretty easy for you, right? <laughs> let's see how we're doing. Let's go with present continuous. You have this one, the first one, it's already done. It says he's eating right now. He is not eating right now. Is he eating right now? Okay. So complete the other ones, please. They are singing, they are celebrating, the baby's sleeping, he's riding a bike, they are playing. It is raining now. 
He is running. Okay. Complete this one, please. Remember that you have two more options, like in negative and also in questions. Any question or a specific use? Yeah, you need to yes use no this one. Huh? Yes or no question or WH question? Mm, yes or no question, it will be better. You have to do all teacher? Yes, all of them. This is your practice time. Finished, teacher. Excellent, really good. That was fast. <laughs>
for the ones that are getting into the class right now, we are practicing with present continuous in these exercises. You have to complete them on your notebooks. Finish. Excellent, very good. Finish. Great. Finish. Good. Finish. Excellent. All right, let's see. So the first one, it says, he is eating now. He is not eating now. Is he eating now? What about the action singing? Let's see. Jimmy, what do you have in negative? Affirmative is they are singing. What do you have for negative? Uh, they are not uh, singing. Mm -hmm. They are not singing. Thank you. Let's see. Karina Jimenez, what do you have for a question? What's your question with this action? Are they singing? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Are they singing? Very good. Then we have they are celebrating. Let me see. Marvin. What do you have in negative for that action? Celebrating. They, they are in singing. Number three, celebrating. They are in celebrating. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. It's good that you, use a con that you use a contraction. Excellent. What about the question, Diane? They are not celebration. In question? They are celebration. And the question, mm -hmm. are they celebration? Are they celebrating? Remember, ING, uh -huh. the action. Celebrating. Uh -huh, exactly. It needs to be in ING to be present continuous. Excellent, girl. Very good. So the baby is sleeping, Rafael. What do you have in negative? The baby is not is not sleeping. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The baby is not sleeping. Excellent. Very good. Mauricio, what do you have for that action in question? Is the baby sleeping? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Basic. Thank you. Let's move on. He's riding a bike. Fabiola, what do you have in negative for he's riding a bike? He is not riding a bike. Excellent. What about you, Noemi? 
<laughs> what do you have for a question in there? Your microphone. Sorry, is he riding a bike? Excellent, very good, thank you. They are playing. What do you have in negative, Jessica Elizabeth? They are playing. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good, you use a contraction. What do you have for questions, Cesar, with playing? Are they playing? Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good, thank you. It is raining right now. What do you have for negative in this one, Fatima Karina? It is raining now. Raining? Repeat after me. Raining? Raining now. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. And what do we have for a question in here, Crisia? It's raining today. Mm, let's see. Está dando el sonido, no la structure. Do you remember that it says that yes, no question starts with B? So what's your B in, in this one? Is. Mm -hmm. And then it goes the subject, right? Um, is it raining now? I just today. <laughs> oh my <Don't> god! <laughs> it happens. It happens, my friend. Don't worry. All right. But at least you have it. Right. <laughs> raining now. That's the correct one. Thank you. Let's go with. Armando Antonio, this is affirmative. He's running. What's the negative? He is running. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. What's the question with this action, Lisette Velasco? Running. Is he running? Mm -hmm. There you have it. Pretty simple, right? This was a piece of cake for you, everyone. <laughs> No, I believe it was, but if not, it's okay. This is what you need. The more you practice, the better you'll become, all right? Let's go now with this quick review. We have quantifiers. This is the information that I need you to see if you have on your notebook. If not, you can copy it right now. But it says, let me see. Heidi Vasquez, can you please read this information? We are when when we are not sure or we mm -hmm. don't don't know the present present of sometimes we use quantifiers. Quantifiers. Repeat after quantifier. me. Quantifier. Quantifier. Okay. Very good. There you had. All right. So this is like basic and you know, when you're not sure about something at all, like um, sure about this percentage, you can use quantifiers, right? Last class we learned that we use all when you have like the 100% of percentage in there. And you are completely and absolutely sure about something. Now, let's see. I don't know if you love that, it's not that I don't know, it's just that I don't remember if last class you made your sentence using quantifiers or if I told you it was homework, but the thing is that I'm going to give you time to work on this. It says, Fabiola, can you please read the instructions? Number one, work individual. Number two, create one sentence in quantifier. Number three, share your question with the class. Excellent, very good. It's a sentence. I don't know why I have questions in here. Okay, thank you, Fabiola. All right, everyone. So if you have it, good. If not, you can create yours right now.
let me know whenever you're finished. Please remember that when using quantifiers, you need a plural noun, right? Which it goes after the quantifier. Finished. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finished. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So let's start. Give me the honors, please. Noemi. Noemi. <laughs> <laughs> Most of students don't finish the high school. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, that one's it's pretty true. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go with Jessica Elizabeth. My brother has as many friends. Okay, let's see. Repeat again, please. My, My brother has bro many friends. Has many friends. All oh, right, yeah, yes. that one's true. Very good. Well, I don't know if it's true, but it's good in any case. Excellent, Jessica. Karina Jimenez. I don't have a lot of coins in my wallet. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Click me my seat. I don't have a sentence. <laughs> 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 no. Excellent, very good. Now let's go with, let me see. Caesar. Most people were neat. Mm -hmm. All right. Most people work? Neat. Near. 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 Necesitar. Ah, because they need. Need. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. You need to add that word because they need. Most people work because they need. It's true. True that one. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Lisette Velasco. Many people like playing soccer in right now. All right, yeah, that one's good. Many people like playing soccer. Mm hmm Excellent. Let's go with Fabiola. I have a lot of work every day. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of works every day. You need the plural now in there so we, you can use works, all right? Okay, works. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Fabiola. Let's go with 
Ka Fatima Karina. All in the class are learning English. Repeat again, please. All in the class are learning English. Uh, all in class. Now listen in this one. Yes, you're right. All, Where are you listening? Uh -huh. All in class. All, all in the class, you said, right? In the class uh -huh. le are learning English. And what's my plural now in there? Oh. <laughs> Creo que no no, see? <laughs> exactly. You need to you need to fix that one or change it. Either or remember that you need a plural now when using quantifiers. If not, we are getting like lost, right? So plural nouns are going to help us to get meaning to that quantifier. All right. Thank you, Fatimita. Thank you. Let's see, Elvis Abrego. Yes, teacher, I have any question. For... I don't know if the... The, the quantifiers. Yes, the, the, the quantifier. Okay. In that case, because I don't have that information in here, but basically you use quantifiers, as it says in here, when we are not sure or we don't know the percentage of something we that's when we use quantifiers but with this we have a specific structure i will share it with you um tomorrow Elvis. i hope you get into the class tomorrow because actually this topic was at last class which it was on thursday but tomorrow we are also going to have a review with this all right if not, you can check the okay, uh, Remember that in YouTube, we have uh, the classes. Every day they are upload. Okay, in this case, um, mm -hmm. um, I have a, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, rapper in my job. You have a, a, yes. Sorry? I have a, I have a lot of job in my job. I ah. have a lot of report in my job. Ah, okay. I think I got yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, Elvis. Thank you. Yeah. In any case, Elvis, please try to be tomorrow in class. So I can get you more information about quantifiers. I also have more in here, but right now I can't go deep in that one because I also have the exam that I need to check with you guys. All right, let's move on. Let's see, Walter, tell me your sentence. Okay, no one's invest for loss. No one invest for loss. Invest. Invest. Invest for loss. Okay, Walter. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. Now listen, what we're going to do, I have your names, the ones that participate in today with this part. I got your names and tomorrow, maybe you won't participate in this part. But the other ones that I don't have in this list and they are going to be in class tomorrow, of course, you're going to participate in this part. I need to check how we're doing with those sentences. But now I'm going to move on to the midterm or the final exam. Now in here, in this part in listening, Basically, you just had one listening and you need, no, four conversations in one whole listening, all right? And you have four questions. Let me see, it says, A, listening. Then we have the instructions. Let me see, Karina Jimenez, please read the instructions. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. 
So let's move on. We have this one. And the ones that uh, that you already have this midterm complete and everything, it's great. You're going to help me. I do have the answers under this chart, but still I'm going to need your participation, all right? So let's see. Number one, Catherine has, Fabiola, how many brothers Catherine, does Catherine have? Seven, Catherine has seven brothers and sisters. Uh -huh, exactly. Now in this one, in this part, it could be like tricky, right? Because she says that she has four sisters and she mentions their names. And then she says that she has three brothers and all those stuff, right? He mentions their names and stuff like that. So you need to be carefully, extremely carefully, because in this part, she doesn't say the complete number, right? You have to count how many brothers and sisters are in total. And yes, they are seven, right? Let's go with number two. Christian? I I don't this part, but mm -hmm. I don't have a, a platform open right now. You, you okay. haven't finished the exam? Yes. Okay, but you need to finish the exam today, Christian, all right? At least at 12 o'clock. <laughs> but I need <laughs> Finish the exam. I don't. Yes. That's why we are helping you right now. To the ones that hasn't finished yet the exam, you will have the answers in here. But not because you have the answer, it means ah, for the way out of screen, but yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Try to consider everything. Let's see, Fabiola, you were raising your hand. The answer is with a friend. Okay, let's see. Nowadays, Mark is living with a friend. With a friend. There you go. Mm -hmm, exactly. He established that he's not he's not married, but he is going to get married at the end of the year, I think, so of the month. But right now, he established that he is living with a friend. I got my notes in here. <laughs> That's why I'm telling you that information because I got my notes in here. Let's see, number three, Karina Jimenez. I don't remember. Okay, let's see, it says, Sharon usually goes to the gym. Don't worry, Karina, we're going to see if somebody else can help you. What about Cesar? Do you have that one, number three? Open platform, please, one moment. Yeah, don't worry. If you don't have it, let's think about it, okay? She says that she goes Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. How many days are those in total? Three times a week. There you have Three times a week, per week. Because she says that she goes three days. So it's the same, right? Excellent. Thank you. Three times per week. Now let's go with the last one of this part. Let me see, Jimmy. Uh, are working abroad. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and this one, it would be a little bit tricky because I also thought that at the beginning he says, Junger's brothers are working abroad, but not. He established that, uh, that the younger brothers, that men's younger brothers are working abroad. All right? So there you have it. This is basically the listening part, right? There's no way to get lost in here. You need to pay attention to the listening. Then let's go with the conversations. Um, Mauricio, please read the instructions of part one. Uh -huh. Instruction: Complete the sentences with do, does, 
or would. Thank you. Let's see, Florence, what do you have for number one? Do you like to see a movie tonight? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. It sounds good, right? Like, you like, but let's see, is that grammatically correct? Let's see, what do you have, Diane? I see you are shaking your head. Let's see, what do you have? Would, would you like to see a movie tonight? Sure. What time does it start? There you have it. Very good. Remember that we are offering something, all right? We are offering. Would you like to see a movie tonight? Okay, you are offering something to do for tonight, right? An action. Let's see, what do you have for number two, Noemi? Do you like horror movies? No, not really. Let's see. Yes, exactly, very good. If you remember everyone, that that time that we saw these topics in class, like questions with do or does, okay? Try to remember because in here you can get confused because at the end it says movies. So you may think, ah, I'm going to use that. No, because your subject is in singular. So you don't need does. What about this other one? Number three. Let's see. Jocelyn, what do you have for number three? Let's see, Jocelyn. What about you, Marvin? What do you have for number three? Hmm. What? What? Hello, hello. <laughs> All right, Marvin, are you there, right? Let's see, what do you have for number three? What kind of music? What kind of music does your friend Ricardo like? It's, it's rock and classical, I think. Very good. There you have it. Also in here, a tricky one. Very good one, actually. If you notice, it's talking about Ricardo, right? So you need to use does. Another thing in here, my dear students, don't write down this does in capital letter. The D doesn't need to be in capital letter because we are not starting a question nor a sentence with does. Does is in the middle. So you don't need to write down the D in capital. Thank you, Marvin. Part two. Walter, please read the instructions. Complete the following conversation is the present continuum of the verse. Thank you. Okay, Jocelyn, thanks for letting me know. Thank you, Walter. All right, so now you're using present continuous. Let's see. René Samuel, what do you have for number one, letter A? Hello there. Uh, it says, how is your sister? Studying. Mm -hmm. Studying. But what do I have before that verb in progressive? If I want to create a, a question with sim with present continuous, no recuerdo. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. All right, Fabiola, help me then. Is she studying this day? Exactly. There you have it. 
Now, let's pay attention in this one, my dear students. Be careful with the eyes, all right? I, I mean the letter I, because sometimes we are, our mind, I don't know what's going on with our mind, but maybe we write down more letters than the ones that we need. So if you have a study in here, you don't need to change the Y for another I or to add an I before the Y. No, don't do that, all right? If not, the platform is going to tell you this is a mistake. And you are going to be asking yourself, hey, what's going on if I have the right answer studying? Please remember how to create questions, present continuous, and also check your grammar. All right, let's go with, no, with B. Mauricio, do you have B? Uh, yeah. No, she isn't. Uh -huh. No, she isn't. She is work as a cashier at the grocery store. What did you say after she? She's work. She, she. Uh -huh. uh, Mauricio. She's, she, she works as a cashier at the grocery store. Let's see. Let's see. She's working. She's working. Remember. She's working. Uh -huh. ah, it's a present continuum. She's working. Yeah. Exactly. There you have it. Don't forget to check before creating or making your exercises. This is present continuous. Thank you, Mauricio. Let's see. Um, Raul Cerceño, what do you have for number two? Is that baby over there? Who is waiting? Okay, let's see if it's true. If I'm if I'm making my if I'm making my question in progressive Raul, how should the verb be? B. ¿Cómo debería estar el verbo? If I'm using present continuous. Uh. <laughs> Look at the other ones, the studying, working. Is. Let's see. Is he waiting? Is he waiting? Your verb should be with ing, a progressive action, right? This is for everyone. You need to have a progressive action. And then we have, now in this one, don't forget. If you remember, I also had an example the beginning of, of the class actually, in which I was using double H to ask about who are you waiting for? And there you have it, this one, right? It's like similar. Let's go with the last one being Jimmy. His girlfriend, Maggie. She is coming in on the bus. Let's see. She's coming. Very good. Very good, Jimmy. Thank you. All right. So there you have it. In this one, it's not asking. It's, it's stating, right? He's telling you. She's coming. All right. So there you have it, everyone. Thank you so much. Now, I have this part that I'm going to left for tomorrow. And we're also going to see a review tomorrow, all right? So that was pretty much, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much all for today's class. And let's see if you have any question, even if it is about the exam, you can ask me. I'm not telling you, yes, I'm going to answer you in the same exact moment that you text me because sometimes I'm busy, but you will always get an answer, all right? All right, everyone, if we have no more questions in this part, tomorrow we are going to develop the other part of the exam. Meanwhile, you can go working on this so that you help me tomorrow. All right, so 
Bye. Take care. Have a great night. Bye, teacher. Bye, thank you. Bye, Bye teacher. Thank Bye, you so much. Thanks, teacher. Thank teacher. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, see you tomorrow. Take class mañana. Yes, yes, we do have class tomorrow. Thank you. All right, goodbye. Teacher. Yes. A mí me salía error porque no le ponía el 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 is o el el are. Sí, exacto. Es lo que les estaba mencionando. Por eso lo puse a practicar ahora haciendo uh -huh. preguntas y dejando establecidas oraciones en negativo también. Porque a veces se nos puede olvidar que necesitamos el verbo to be antes. Si no, no va sí. a tener como tiene nuestra question. Y, la, y lo que es peor, la plataforma no lo va a agarrar. No, no me lo leía. Ajá, exacto. Okay. Gracias. Right, bye, take care. Bye. bye.